is Tawny here, and we are going to continue our uh, sort of line of motivational topics and things. I've had a lot of really good responses, so um, today I want to talk about time wasters. So I'm not talking about the uh, fifth excuse you've made yourself this morning to get another coffee and peruse Twitter. I'm not talking about the uh, bowl that you just loaded. I'm not talking about that phone call that she made last just a little bit longer because you didn't want to get back to your to-do list. I'm talking about time wasting people. So a lot of times we're putting the blame on ourselves. Uh, we are saying that we're wasting our own time. Uh, we don't think to look at the people that are closest to us to see if they are deterring our forward momentum. So if you're looking to have uh, motivation towards your goals and work towards them, you could be surrounded by people that are keeping you from doing that and it's something that you perhaps have not slowed down and seen the, the real detrimental properties of these people and how that's going to keep you from uh, gaining your goals. So I'm going to tell you a few little stories um, and then I'm also going to tell you how to look out for these people uh, and the manipulation tactics that can be used to uh, deter you from your goals and keep you under somebody else's control. Uh, so first of all, I want to talk about my first boyfriend. So uh, we all have old relationships and these are things um, back in, in early high school and middle school that we really have a, a hard time, I would say, uh, using as building blocks for our current emotional states. Because it's very hard to count a lot of those middle school or younger relationships. Um, but in this instance, I was dating somebody quite a bit older at the time. Um, in, uh, you know, as you get older, the, the age differences are less prevalent. But back in the day, uh, I was that cool, cool, you know, 13-year-old, 14-year-old dating um, like a 16 to 18-year-old. So it was very exciting. That being said, uh, there's a moment in our relationship, a lot of it, I don't really remember it wasn't very you know like it's not something that I sit and I dote on but there is one point in our relationship that stood out to me and this was a building block um, I was really really excited because I had been accepted into a psychology program pre-program at my high school and it was just a very very exciting moment for me and I called him up in between classes and his response was, oh, psychology. I liked it a lot more when you wanted to be a writer. And that just blew up my world, because of course, I like it more being a writer as well. Like that was a goal for me too. And um, in that moment, I felt completely suppressed. Uh, I was not somebody who had been in a really healthy relationship, so I didn't understand just how detrimental those words were. Uh, but from that moment on, I started deterring from psychology and working more uh, in writing because of somebody else's interest in my passions. So uh, that small word from someone who, uh, who was very uh, manipulative and we were very unkind to each other, uh, re changed my entire goal that year. That one word. And when you are young and you're impressionable, this happens. Of course, we all know that this happens a lot. But we don't think about how often it also happens when we're older. So speeding forward to um, a, a person that I was, I was looking to potentially date. And at the time, I had heard about camming and like online performing and things. And, and it was something that I knew I had to address with somebody that I was potentially dating. Um, and of course, I immediately got the, you know, don't do that. You, you'll be a whore. You'll hate yourself. You'll do, you know, like I could never be around someone who did that. So I changed my outlook on that and did not pursue it at that time based on what that one person said. Opinions are incredibly powerful and they're some of the biggest time wasters to yourself. It's important to know that opinions of others are time wasters on yourself if you take them all to heart. It's much like reading a bad review on something you've done. Reviews are not for you 
unless they are a personal review from your employer. If somebody is reviewing a product you've done or art you've done, that is for other people seeking that art. For you, it's about doing what you love and what brings you passion and you will enlighten people along the way. Listening to every comment somebody has about what you are doing is completely unnecessary and is a huge time waster in the bigger picture of things. Now I'll speed forward some more. Um, I had uh, a, a boyfriend who was very, very excited um, to have a big family, come from a big family, wanted a big family. And uh, the, the constant pressure to do well to make money so that I could become essentially a housewife was very, very pressing. And again, this was an opinion that was imposed on a close relationship that I thought was based on the fact that they really loved me and really wanted me to be the mother of their children and take care of them. Uh, and it wasn't until I was free of the relationship and able to look back that I realized it was a form of time wasting for my current trail and my current goals and that I had put those on pause. Now, a lot of these are time wasters I've put on myself. But when you're surrounded by people that are giving you the same messages of control, that in itself can be a trap that you can't see out of. The difference being uh, when Kyle and my current husband, my current husband, and I um, started uh, dating, seriously, I would say things like, I think I want to do this project. And the response would be, sounds great. Can I help? I think I want to do this. I want to do that. I've always been an entrepreneur. When, uh, when people, uh, when we're really young, our parents say, you can be whatever you want to be, or at least the majority of parents do. In my opinion, whether they believe it or not, a parent understands how much faith and love and support they need to put in their child. Faith, love, and support that you need to put with people that you love and care about in your life. Think about that. Your parents know they need to give you this unconditional love and support whether they believe in what you're doing. Those that are your close friends and your partners should want the same, should feel the same for you. Do we not want to have that unity that we might have with our parents or our guardians or those we're looking up to? If your parents never said this to you, perhaps you had somebody at your school or your college or a friend that told you, I believe in you. Can you remember that feeling of being pushed towards your dreams instead of deterred? Time wasting is very, very sneaky. It can be a comment that takes you a year to move forward. It could be somebody telling you, no, you cannot do that and you not doing it. It's important to understand that when it comes to time wasting, who you're surrounding yourself with is very, very important. Sit down and think about who is telling you you can't. Pretend you're giving them a job interview. Are they somebody who would probably show up late? Are they somebody who would have maybe very strong opinions that you don't necessarily always agree on? Is it somebody who might show some arrogance um, or entitlement? Is it somebody who has not followed their own advice in their life? Uh, could this be because they're afraid that you will end up like them? Um, a lot of someone else's insecurities about you have to do with themselves. If you sit down and you pretend that you're interviewing them using all that you know about them, you might find that they're not somebody that you would allow to change the direction in your life to begin with. You might realize that the only reason you're listening in the first place is because you love them as much as you would love them to love you and support you. Um, this is just very, very important. And, uh, and while you're at it, sit yourself down for an interview. Do you oftentimes find that you're late for things that you promise yourself? Do you find that you uh, are, are, are uh, canceling on yourself a lot? You know, I want to go to the gym tomorrow morning. Did I cancel on myself? Uh, would you hire yourself? Because it's important to also understand that you can be a time waster to someone else as well. If you have a friend who's excited about a project, even if, you know, Carol over there has done 20 projects and she never completes them, 20 diets and she's never stuck with them, 20 whatever, 
To instill doubt is only to prevent them from working towards something healthy and happy that they want to do. You never know when it is time for them to make that change. And if you have a hand in deterring that, you're a big time waster in their life. Make sure that you're supportive. Make sure that you're loving. Make sure you take a very, very close eye at the people that you're surrounding yourself with because truly that is the most important thing. If you are in a relationship with somebody who does not believe in your goals and dreams, how long have you wasted? And um, I understand that sometimes a dream needs a word of logic. Sometimes somebody needs to break something down and go, have you thought about this? Have you thought about this? And you go, dang it, I haven't. It's gonna be way more complicated than I thought, perhaps a different time. There's a lot of different ways that things can change, but it's important to know the difference between pausing because of logic and pausing because of someone else's opinion. Definitely keep that in mind. Um, understand that, that you could have been deterred for many, many years in your past um, by many, many people, and that if you sit down and you make your goals and you take everyone else's opinions, and the things you've heard from other people and how difficult it could be to obtain them out of the equation, you might find that you're way more of a powerhouse than you had even imagined uh, and you no longer have tethers that are pulling you back against a wall. So um, I really hope that this has helped. Uh, it was one of the biggest lessons in my life was truly just looking at those around me and uh, eliminating those that cast a doubt on my dreams and my goals because uh, if I had not, I would not be able to do half the things that I've done today. Um, listen to yourself and uh, and ignore all of those time wasters you know you've got enough time wasters you're putting on yourself you don't need people around doing it too again this is Tani Seren I really hope this has helped please subscribe I will be doing these more often and I, I really look forward to chatting with you all again soon